This video was sponsored by pCloud. Hey guys, this is Sam, and today the second beta for iOS 10.2.1 was released, but this is probably the first time you've heard about it, at least on this channel. So iOS 10.2.1 beta 1, that is, you know, it gets longer every release to say, but that came out last Wednesday, and today they released the second version of that. Now the reason I didn't cover it last week is because number one, I was on my way home back from college, it was a crazy day, finished a final, and it really didn't change anything. So I was gonna wait for this beta to see if anything else happened, but unfortunately, really nothing on our end of things changed. I mean, if we look at the release notes that Apple gives us on the developer website, they mentioned that SOS is only available in India. There's some things with SpriteKit, which is a developer engine for moving graphics, if I understand it correctly. And then number three, it says that if you remove the TV app from iOS 10.2.1, there's actually no way to get it back yet. So something to think about if you're running this beta software and use the TV app even every once in a while. At this point, you just can't re-download it. Now taking just a quick break from iOS 10.2.1, I wanna talk about pCloud for just a second, who were kind enough to sponsor today's video. So pCloud is a cloud storage service, and it's very similar to Dropbox, but I like it better for a few reasons. Number one, the pricing. Compared to what Dropbox charges, you're getting twice the amount of storage for half the price, which is just a crazy good deal. Or if you want to get started at no cost, you get 20 gigabytes for free. And the best part by far is how easily you can integrate it with all of your devices, your iPhones, iPads, Androids, Macs, and PCs. On my Mac, I can literally drag and drop a folder from my desktop to the pCloud desktop folder and it will automatically begin uploading to the cloud without me even opening my web browser. So if you're interested in checking out pCloud, then I'll leave a link down below in the description. So going from here, I don't really know when this is going to come out. There hasn't been a whole lot of talk about it, and as you can see, there's really no authentic features to talk about. It just is some bug fixes and improvements that were probably introduced when iOS 10.2 was released. But if you guys are running this firmware, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think it's better or faster? If I had to pick out one thing, I almost feel like it's smoother or quicker. I'm sure that's a placebo effect and it's not actually the case, but so far, if I had to say something right now, I want to say that it feels smoother and quicker than before. I mean, when I'm matching it up against my iPhone 7, which is on iOS 10.2, they're about the same speed, but of course the iPhone 7 has a much faster processor, so it should be a bigger gap than I'm seeing right here, but who knows, maybe there were some speed improvements made in the background. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below, and of course subscribe for more on iOS 10.2.1. I've been Sam, I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll talk to you later.